Salam everybody, my name is Saida and this is Alif Kitchen. I'm here to share with you all my tips and skills and obviously my recipes which are going to be super easy, I'll make sure of that. And I'll make sure that you'll be able to share with your family and obviously they have to be halal because you know, this is Alif Kitchen. So here we have all our ingredients lined out. Um, we have our seasoning, this is cayenne pepper. We have turmeric and paprika here. We have cajun seasoning and we have black pepper. So this is our vessel, which is just a vegetable oil that is that has no um, strong taste. Um, we have oyster sauce, which is supposed to just give us this, you know, salty, umami flavor. Limes, two limes, you need this to season and obviously for presentation as well, just to have more color. We have our tiger prawns here and our sausages. Our sausages are chicken sausages. A lot of people are not aware that they're halal sausages, but chicken sausages, um, our halal and this particular brand I'm using is halal. We have our skewers that have been washed and cleaned because obviously we need to keep it clean. So we'll run through everything now. As you can see here, I have like a colorful array of my chopping boards. It's for hygiene. I'm very, very big on hygiene. So this blue board is for seafood, hence, you know, water is blue. And <laughs> this is for raw meat and poultry, chicken, all this kind of stuff. And um, this white one is for cooked food. And then this is for vegetables and fruits. So we will put our blue board on our table. So here we have our clean skewers and our prawns and it's ready for us to skewer them. And this is what you do. You take the pointy end of your skewer, you insert it into the prawn like this. Then you take one of your sausages that you have sliced. I have just sliced them into thick chunks so that it can take the penetration of the skewer. And you insert them slowly like that. And then you take the prawn and just shift it down a little. And then you insert it right there to give that nesting shape. So I'll do that with the rest of our prawns. Just watch me carefully while I do it so you don't miss any of the steps. And you can obviously get the kids involved with this as well. It's very, you know, involving and it's fun and you can just chat over it. It's very easy as well. We'll mix our seasonings just when we're done with this and then we can just let the taste develop as time goes on. You have to be careful to get um, prawns that are sturdy, as sturdy as this, because you know, you're know you moving them around a lot on the skewers and they might break. So we don't want that happening to our precious prawns. Okay, so I'm done with that. Um, so I've skewered my prawns here and they're perfectly nested with the sausages. I'll just wash my hands and start with the seasoning. So, with a clean cloth. Now I'll start with our marinade. It's just a very short marinade, nothing too serious. So first we have our cajun seasoning going into our oil. Just a little. Our cayenne pepper. Depends on how spicy you really want it to be. Turmeric and paprika. And our black pepper. We we'll swirl it around and drizzle it all over our prawns like this. And drizzle it over our prawns slightly, like softly like that. Just so we coat it. I'm still going to use my hands to just cover it slightly around. So you just massage it into the prawns, into all the tiny holes and gaps, so it gets through. Just a tiny bit because can be very overpowering if it's too much. 
We also rub that in very well. So we'll leave our prawns to marinate for a little while, just a few minutes, like two, three minutes. And we're doing that, we will work on our lime wedges. So I'll just wash my hands. I'm very messy now. So I'll get rid of my seafood board. We're done with that. We start with our green board again because we're starting to cut my lines. So this is how we're going to do it. So cut our it. We're going to just cut wedges. So I'm going to squeeze some of the juice onto the prawns like this just to have that zingy taste now we take our prawn skewers and insert it into the lime like this just to give it color obviously more of the juice will sip into the lime as well. I have some seeds here. Be careful to take out your seeds. Almost there. Just have a few couple left. So like I said earlier, the kids can join in on this activity. This is fairly easy and doesn't really involve any sharp objects. Obviously, you as the parent would want to cut the limes and then give them the segments to put into the skewers. Now we're done with our skewers. I wash my hands to avoid contamination. Then how about we take a break and you see me while I'm cooking our corn skewers. So here I've lit up my cooker. We have our non-stick pan here. And I'll add my oil to the pan. You can use any sort of oil. I'm using olive oil. Just have that fruity flavor again. My pan is quite hot already. And prawns naturally have a salty, slightly salty flavor. I, on the other hand, I love salt so I'm adding more salt to it it's not in the original recipe it's just an add-on so if you do not really like salt as well you can omit it like I have in the main recipe but now while I'm cooking I'm going to add some salt so I'll just sprinkle a little over the top as I add the prawns to my pan and don't overcrowd your pan because we don't want the pan to cool down too much I have my tongs here for easy Movement. I'll flip this over. Season the other side. And as you can see, actually, like I said before, I put my cooked board here. This is the board we put cooked food on. So it has not been contaminated with our raw food or our raw vegetables. So when our prawns are ready, we transfer it onto the cooked board before it hits our plate to decorate. I wish you were here to smell this. It smells amazing. Really. Try to flatten the prawns against your heat and make sure it's in the center to centralize the heat because that's where the heat comes from and then it distributes to the other parts of the pan. I think we're almost there. But the thing is, you don't have to cook it like I have. This is just the way I like it. I don't like my prawns too spongy. I like it juicy, robust, still keeping the same size intact as well.
and just keep moving it around. I think I'm done with this one. So I'll add the rest to the pan now. Season with your salt, the pinch. The oil tends to depart from the center because the prawns suck up the oil in the pan. So you can just swirl it around back into the middle to have it right in the center. I honestly can't wait to eat this. Like I said before, this is one of the reasons why you shouldn't crowd your pan. The heat would go into the prawns and then your pan will cool down. So to hasten the process a little, we increase our heat just slightly, nothing dramatic. And you can see it's been in the pan, but it's not really affecting the shape or the condition of our limes because it's not going to stay long enough for it to actually affect the limes, you know. And we have our last baby right here on the pan. Look at that. All five of our prawns done. Now, we move to plating. So we have our cooked prawn skewers here with the sausages. They look so yummy. I can't wait to get my hands on them. <laughs> So we're going to plate them. You can really arrange them how you, however you like. I'm just going to do this. Turn it in. And you can see that the limes have given them such a lovely color. And it tastes, it's going to taste so fresh. And citrusy and fruity. So we have our prawns plated, arranged. And now we're going to squeeze a bit of lime on top of it, just to give it an extra zing. You can leave the lime on the plate or you can get rid of it. I'm going to leave it just in case anyone wants an extra one, extra juice on top of there. So we get rid of our dirty board for our cooked prawns. And here we are. Juicy, succulent, citrusy sausage and prawn skewers. A quick recap of our spicy sausage and prawn skewers. We will need four tiger prawns, four chicken sausages, a tablespoon of oyster sauce, two limes, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of cayenne, oil to preference, salt to taste, four skewers. How to make our spicy sausage and prawn skewers. Clean and prep your prawns. Then, cut your sausages to smaller cubes. Place your prawns and sausages on a clean skewer. Segment your limes and place them on the skewer too. Mix your seasoning and condiments with the oil and drizzle over the skewers. Fry in a hot pan for 3 to 5 minutes on both sides. Serve and enjoy. I am still Saida. Hopefully, I'll see you next time, inshallah, on Alif Kitchen. Bye!